any time you go underwater, especially in locations like Chagos, you're visiting a place that no one's gone before. Huge cliffs, massive boulder fields, and coral which had been seen somewhere else in the Pacific or Indian Ocean is actually present here. And the enthusiasm from the scientists that you're on board with is infectious. What was quite unexpected was finding quite a few deep water stony corals and evidence that there may be cold water coral communities here in Chagos. So that is really uh, unexpected. Many of the specimens of corals have been absolutely spectacular and they always come with passengers. So on the corals are living lots of other animals like brittle stars, crinoids, crabs. So it's almost as though biodiversity begets more biodiversity. This universe of life in, in deep water, which is just so enjoyable to see. So in relation to climate change, I didn't see personally anything that uh, was showing impact on the coral communities. But of course, understanding how these corals um, work and function and how they're distributed will really allow us to anticipate what potential impacts climate change or warming seawater could have on these corals and all the communities that they support. <laughs>